She's so excited. Back at the creek. Hold on, baby. I'll go with you. Come on, we can go. Go get daddy. Go ahead. Come on. We're sitting on a rock in the creek right now with the doggies. Holly has been exploring. She's been a good girl and, and listening, so we're let her off the, the hookup, unfortunately. Lucy doesn't really care because she's over in her own little spot there. But she can't be off the thing because she'll run. She's a feisty one. But look, we got our little tent set up. We got this off of Wayfair. Supposedly it's a five person tent, but I think it's a three person because we can only fit our two cots in there, but it's nice and comfortable and cozy. And now we're gonna set everything else up over here. But it's a nice quiet spot, nobody in sight. And earlier we saw cows grazing. Before the sun goes down, can I just say how beautiful the RAV4 looks out here? I feel like I said that last time, but it seriously looks like a commercial. <laughs> we just got our fire going. We're gonna hook, cook some um, hot dogs and roast some marshmallows, you know. Okay, Holly. So Holly's our little protector. Because there's cows out there right when we woke up this morning. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Apparently Lucy now knows there too. <laughs> Look at the cow. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm just eating some grass. What's your problem? <laughs> packed up today making sure to get everything taken care of before we leave very important in Arizona take care of your fire we're getting all packed up so we're back home and we're decked out in our Cardinals gear babe's got his gear on too oh yeah obviously he's not drinking yet he was bringing it to my parents <laughs> um, but we're going over to my parents to have a little tailgate not really a party, just like watch the game with some hot dogs and actually my dad's making these jalapeno poppers like bacon wrapped something naughty naughty so I'll share those with you when we get there. And camping was awesome. It was perfect spot. We got a, such a great spot and it was so fun to bring the dogs. Sometimes not so fun because they're like, you know, a little crazy sometimes. Barking. Dog dogs. Yeah, but they're they're protecting us, so you can't really get mad at them, really. But I'm glad they had fun too. They were going crazy, smelling everywhere and exploring. It was really cute. So yeah, did you have fun too, babe? Yes. <laughs> so here are the poppers. Oh my goodness, they smell and look so good. I bet they're gonna be bomb. So I had a fun package come in the mail from Pixie, but I also wanted to share with you, it's going to be Halloween soon, and I'm going to be doing a week of my favorite villains, female villains, out there for um, Instagram. Because last year I did a week of American Horror Stories, like themed posts that were my favorite of their seasons. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, can you guess who this is going to be? These two items. I'm not going to say yet, but it'll be very soon that I'll share that. And then Pixie sent over these Remedy Mask recipes. 
So you're supposed to use them in conjunction with each other for different areas of concern. So we have a nourishing and energizing. And then the milky remedy is the smoothing and hydrating, which they suggest to put on forehead and cheeks. And then the brightening and soothing, um, apply vitamin C mass to forehead and cheeks. So this is the vitamin C. So I think maybe I'll try these out with Aubrey when she comes over for girls night this next weekend. So my mom is amazing and found these really beautiful baskets at Target that match our new hutch really well. So new baskets from Target. I'll try to link them for you guys if they're available still. I like them because they're a nice square shape. So it fits my blankets really well. And the gray baskets that were here, I used in the pantry still. So I will show you that in a second here. And then she also found these when she was at the Target Dollar Spot. Some of the gumball machines at the Dollar Spot, they're $3 though each, but in black. So I don't have to spray paint some of mine. I've already got some for Halloween now. I'm so excited to use these. So thank you so much to Mama B. Good morning, it is my Monday, but it's Tuesday, and off to work. I just dropped Chris off. Well, he drove, and then now I'm driving. <laughs> Gonna be driving to work. Um, but we also dropped off Holly this morning at the groomers, so she'll be all fluffy and clean when we come home. My baby. My mom's actually gonna pick her up for me so that she doesn't have to be there for, like, stay all day. She's gonna be at grandma's. And this week is just gonna be hustle and bustle all week. Um, we have a really cool play tomorrow. We're going to the Adams Family play at the Hale Theater with my parents and Brian and Haley. So that'll be really fun. And then Thursday night, we'll just be getting ready for Chris to go camping with the guys over the weekend. Um, he's gonna be going Friday night, Saturday, and then coming back Sunday. And then Sunday, we have the Van Gogh exhibit, which is this really cool um, exhibit that they have in Scottsdale right now. I love Van Gogh um, as a kid. I really, um, when we started learning about him in school, I got really into it. I think I even did a book report or some kind of report um, on him. Anyway, I'm really excited to go to that. And while Chris is gone camping, I'm actually getting a haircut this weekend. I'm meeting up with two of my really good friends that actually both were in the wedding, Joan and Aubrey at, at different times. I'm seeing Joan Friday and Aubrey Saturday. I don't know why I'm giving you a whole rundown of my week, but um, there'll be a lot of fun things for me to vlog this week. So I will be sharing all of that with you. The Van Gogh exhibit will be on next week's vlog since it's on Sunday, but I just wanted to check in and say hi. I haven't said hi for a hot second. I washed my hair today. It's a little, it seems like frizzy right here, but it's super curly because I just washed it. All right, gotta get going to work now. Hey you guys, so we are going to be going to the Adams Family play today at the Hale Theater in downtown Gilbert. We're also gonna go to Liberty Market for dinner with the family. So I have on my Hell Bunny sweater. It's kind of spooky. I have some new jeans on from Walmart actually. And these are like the, I don't know, I'll link them down below. They're really comfortable. And I have my pumpkin spice lip on and this little headband is from Target last year. I'm pretty sure they have something similar this year though. And I think they might be here picking me up because I'm gonna head there with my parents and then come back with Chris and the dogs are outside not paying attention. So this is the time to leave. <laughs> so we're gonna be going to the Hale Theater over here to see the Adams Family. And then we're going to Liberty Market over here for dinner. My parents are with me too. to record how Holly's haircut looks. Your ears flipped up, baby. <laughs> Give me me, baby. Let me flip your ear over. There you go. She looks more like a poodle when she gets a haircut. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah? And you got a new collar, too? 
it's really cool because it on <laughs> you smell my on the little um buckle part right there it's engraved with her name and my phone number she wants to go out there because there's workers out there um, with our neighbors and she keeps barking and it's 8 a.m so i'm not letting her no honey gotta stay inside here with mama Good morning, you guys. It's Thursday and I'm at work. I'm about to park here. And I just wanted to tell you guys, last night was so much fun. We had dinner at Liberty Market and I had, well, I had like two pieces of this white pizza that had chicken and bacon. It was delicious. And then I, pretty much everyone enjoyed their meal. Chris had like this, I think it was called the Tavern Burger. And I think Haley had mac and cheese and my dad had some kind of roast beef dip. Everything looked really good. I didn't try anybody else's but mine, but mine was really good. And then we went and saw the show, The Addams Family, and it was a musical too. And I thought it was just a play, but it was a musical as well. And the girl that played Wednesday did such a great job. She's an amazing singer. Everyone did a really good job. But my, my favorites were Fester and Wednesday who played those characters. And it was just really fun to experience with the whole family and like get out in the middle of the week. So, but it kind of like set me off on like a, I feel like it should be Friday today or Saturday because we did something that was like a weekend kind of activity in the middle of the week, you know? So anyways, my eyes are watering a ton today. I must have really bad allergies, but I'm going to get into work. I just wanted to quickly come on here and tell you guys, um, how much fun we had last night. And I tried to film a little bit. The pictures that we took are not like the best quality because it was dark out, but I'll insert some here too. Happy Friday. I just finished doing my makeup. I just thought I'd share with you what I used because I didn't use a ton of products. Um, I've really been loving this Tarte, what's it called? Filter Light Setting Powder. I've been using this to set my makeup lately and I used Estee Lauder, um, oh my God, why am I, Double Wear. I was blanking for a second, Double Wear. I've been wearing that again, just a very little amount though um, in the center of my face and then a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. And I've been loving that all week. It's been staying really well for me and it doesn't break up on me. Um, it's just one of those that I haven't used in a while and was like, why haven't I? Because it's one of my favorites. And, um, let's see, the YSL. And this is number 10. And then I also have a little bit of this one from Sephora brand underneath. And it's like this really pretty nude color. And this one to the left. And it's one of their Sephora Rouge Lac Lacquer. Um, like balm lipsticks. Luminoso. I haven't had any coffee yet, can you tell? <laughs> Anyways, really casual day at work today. I have like my Mickey shirt on from Target and some really those same jeans that I wore the night of the Addams Family that I just got in the mail. They're so comfortable and so soft. I love them. And it's a casual day because the doctor's not in the office today, so I'll just be getting some stuff done. And then I'm going to go and see my friend Joan. I'm going to go check out her new beautiful house and see her cute babies. I mean, she's not a baby anymore. She's growing up so much. She's so cute. So I just wanted to check I forgot to tell you guys that I pre-ordered the iPhone 13 Pro Max this morning. And it does come in like a cobalt blue or some kind of blue. I forget what it's called but it's a really pretty blue, a gold, a silver, and a pink. And you know that I wanted the pink, but the pre-order um, was sold out of the Gigabyte like package that I wanted and the Pro Max. So I just went with the gold because that's the one I have now. I had the XS, XRS or something like that, not the 12. I skipped the latest update, but the 13 got me because it has better video and photography quality, especially in low light situations. And because I use my iPhone for vlogging, I just thought it was a good idea to upgrade. And my other phone's paid off so I can trade it in. I ended up only having to pay like 200 and some dollars for my new phone. So it was definitely a good deal. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys once I do receive it. Let me know if you're interested and I can like give a little mini review once I get it in. Um, it should be coming in around the 24th. So next week at work now. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys, I just found out that the Pro Max doesn't come in pink. Da da da. And that's why I couldn't pre-order it in pink. It wasn't sold out. It was just not available in that color. How fun are these hair bands for Halloween? 
They are so soft. I got them off Amazon and they have all these fun patterns. This one's probably my favorite. And then I have one on as well. This pumpkin one. <laughs> Hi guys. So I made this little fallen leaf lighted string for Haley. Brian's my son's girlfriend. She wanted something for her den, so I thought of this. Basically, I got the leaves from home, um, let's see. I got them from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this string of lights from Target. It already had the clips. And see, so if you get close, basically I clip them to the string of lights. See, and it comes with a battery pack. See, so yeah, so this would look cute anywhere, above your bed, um, anywhere, because it's lighted with, of course, batteries. So I hope you enjoy it. Make yours. I'm at my parents' house and mom did some more cute decorations, Mama B did, so. Put the light on. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I showed these on Instagram that she posted, but she just put candy corn in there and set the candle in there and put some twine with a little charm that she found at Michael's. No, I'm going to tell you, the candle is at Target, and it has this twine around the oh, candle. Oh, nice. So I took it off and put it on here. And she got the glasses at um, Thrifting at Goodwill. I'm with the parents at YC's, and they're cooking the noodles over there. Hey guys, I'm actually finishing up some laundry in the background, so sorry if you can hear that, but I'm going to do a fall try on with you right now from Boohoo. I tried yeah. on outfits last week and I'm just now editing them, so I just thought I would quickly come on here and let you know that I will link everything down below for you. Lots of cute pieces. Hey guys, so I'm doing the try on on a different time, obviously different hair and makeup, but I just got home. This dress is super cute for the holidays. It's very loose fitting though. Like I think that I would probably wear a belt with it because it's very baggy and billowy um but it's really comfortable though and i do really like the pattern i like the little um bubble sleeves and obviously i'm wearing pants with this just to try everything on right now but um i think it would look cute with stockings and boots for sure for the fall and winter. look how cute this dress is i would definitely have to put <laughs> like a little um cami like a bralette or something underneath but this is so cute i love the sleeves i love the pattern it's not too hot of a material so it's an easy transition piece for me from um, spring or summer to fall and another one that would look super cute with leggings or stockings and boots little booties maybe even with this and it does cinch in at the waist it has like a stretchy material at the waist Really like it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this sweatshirt is so soft. <laughs> and it fits me at the perfect part of my waist, so I don't feel like it makes me look super boxy or big. Um, and it's a Guns N' Roses, looks like a vintage sweater. And I absolutely love Guns N' Roses. My mom, she she raised me right. She, <laughs> she raised me on all this music, and I love it. Um, but anyways, from the side, it doesn't look bad at all either. And it's so soft and cozy. The le the sleeves are kind of oversized, but I like that because it's just so cozy. Another super cute dress. I love this. Look at the sleeves. They're sheer and then kind of cinch in at the wrist. This is all that like super stretchy fabric on the top here and around the wrist. And then this is the length. I think it's super cute. Really cute for the holidays too, since it's like a forest green. All right, next I got this sweater dress. I don't know, what do you think about it? Obviously I wouldn't wear pants with it, but. It has like cutouts here. I don't, maybe I'm wearing it wrong. I'm gonna... I don't know, I think I would feel a little bit worried about this falling, so I'd have to wear like a bandeau or something, but it is kind of like sexy and fall cozy. So this dress totally gives me clueless vibes. Anybody else? Like, I actually envisioned it a different way, and I'll show you in a second. You see the clothes over there? But it is a little tight on my butt. You can see it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of sucking my butt in. But then it, then it makes it pucker here a little bit. But that's also because I don't have it zipped all the way on the top. No one's home to help me. 
<laughs> but I have a plan for this dress. So this didn't work out. This is a little too small, but I mean, one out of all of these isn't bad, but this definitely runs small. So make sure to size up when getting this bodysuit, but it's super cute. Um, but yeah, it's just a little too tight for me, but I envisioned wearing this underneath the, this dress that I'm wearing right now. I thought that would be a really cute combo. All right. I've got one more dress to try on to show you guys, but also I got these really cute socks that have this little crimp ruffle detail to go like with little booties and things for the fall. And I also got these flats. So let's try these on. They're a little big on me. I think they might have given me the wrong size, but they are really soft and comfortable though. Maybe when I put um, like some stockings on, they'll <laughs> they'll fit better, but they're really nice actually. Last but definitely not least, look how beautiful this dress is. Now I have no like undergarment on to kind of suck everything in nicely, but I almost don't even need it. It's such like a nice flowy dress. Um, it's adjustable straps, which I do need to adjust this just a little bit more to hold it up a little bit. But yeah, so pretty and feminine. I love it. This is a really pretty date night outfit for sure. Oh, and let me show you the back. Look how pretty it kind of like ties on the top there and then zips up halfway. Mama B is gonna try the new apple, what is it called? Macchiato? Apple fritter something crisp, I don't know. Something I'll put it right apple. here because I don't know either. So let's see what it tastes like. Okay, she's the first one to try it. Is it really sweet? It's apple-y, I'll is, tell you that much. It's does good, it taste actually. weird though? No, it's no? good. Actually, okay. it feels like you're drinking an apple pie. Mm -hmm. Out of 10 stars, I give it a seven. Okay, it's that's solid. Good. It's pretty yummy. If you're you, would you get it again? Yeah, I think I would because it oh. really feels like fall. Okay. Brian just tried it. How many stars? Three out of five, six out of ten, whatever. Oh, three six out of, out of ten. Yeah. I thought you were going to give it three out of ten. I'm like, damn, that's <laughs> bad. Why didn't you record him? They're going to be mad. He didn't want to be on camera. I'm ugly. It's never ugly. Everyone knows. They're going to be mad because they think you're cute. Hi, Goofy. Hi, Goofy. Hi, Goofy. That's weird. Well, no it's weird. Doesn't it feel like you're having coffee with a slice of apple pie? It's good, but yeah, it's like you poured coffee over, well, over apple your something, apple pie. something <laughs> apple sweet. All right, I, it's a no makeup day again, but <laughs> actually I have mascara on, but I cut my hair today and I love it. It's super short. I should have had her film it so you guys can see the back a little bit better. But I got my little clip in today for the first time. And I love it. I just needed, it needed to be cut. It was just too thin on the ends and it just looks so much thicker when it's shorter now. So just gotta go with it. So if you see me with long hair, I'm either wearing extensions or a wig <laughs> because I have no shame in, in wearing that as well. Holly, you like it, honey? Yeah? She wants me to go over there with her.